There we go. Come on, Ant. That's the end I know. Let's get it, boy. Whoa, what's good, man? My name is Flimlo Raps, and today we have the UAB series kicking off, man. Now, look, this is season three of the UAB Dynasty. We about to jump it off. We're playing UMass. This is, we don't normally play teams this bad. <laughs> this is a tune-up game. This is week one. I basically wanted to play against somebody that sucked. Now, I want y'all to look real quick before I jump into the game. 81 overall, 84 offense, 78 defense. When I took over this team, I don't know if y'all remember, when we first took this job, we were like a 50 overall. I think by the time we actually got on the field, we were like a 60 something. To be up at 84 in season three is pretty beast mode, okay? So we're doing well, uh, recruiting and everything is coming along, so I'm excited. As you see our top players, Adam Sanders, who is actually ineligible for this year, at least the first part of the year. He's red shirted right now, so Anthony Hancock, came over from UTEP. He's gonna be our starting quarterback. And then also we have my boy, Bentley. Now, if you're not familiar with Anthony Hancock, I've got some of his UTEP highlights and his whole backstory in the video. It's gonna be popping up right over here. Click that little eye icon and get that going. Hold up. Oh, ah, Adrian Merrick. That's my freshman cornerback with way too many wristbands on. But yeah, like I was saying, man, click on the icon. You can go and check out Anthony Hancock's backstory. He was a, the backup quarterback in the UAB series. Uh-oh, let's go, Andrews. Ugh. And once our starter came back, our starter's younger than he is. He's a senior. So we figured it would be good for him to come over here and get a year as the actual starter man and maybe he can get into the nfl as you can see he's not even better than the actual quarterback over here but he's got a ton of heart he runs the read option extremely well and you know he just gets the job done you see the inaccuracy right there on his first throw it's fourth down with midfield y'all know how we do it we're gonna go for this Willard is wide open. Boom, let's go. Now, we actually have some weapons over here, man. If you take a look at Stokes and Bentley, those are two brand new recruits on the team. Neither of them are speedsters, but they're both really, really solid. Oh, my God. Come on, Hancock. Both really solid wide receivers, man. Whew. Here we go. That's what Hancock does. And eventually he'll warm up and start to actually make <laughs> a couple decent passes, I hope. Oh, way to swerve him up. Yeah, I think this UAB team is gonna be the truth this year, honestly. I think we're gonna have a really good season, man. Oh, I thought that block was made, 82. We gotta settle for the field goal. Good drive, though. That was a good drive. Gotta do a better job of finishing, though. Couple new pieces in place over on defense. Oh! Hey, also, you can watch the preseason video for this. Like, if you're not familiar with who all these guys are, I didn't mention that before. That'll be in the description as well. So make sure you check that out. Corner route, let's go. Oh! Come on, man, you can pick that shit. Oh, we got Merrick over on the left. Oh, that's a fucking screen. Mm, let's get it. Uh, Alright, so we tried to pitch it right there a little too late. Actually fumbled the ball. And yeah, this is going to be much of our offense, bro. A lot of running, a lot of read option. We're going to get the screens. Uh oh. Ah, hell yeah, Bailey. That's what I'm talking about, boy. Boom! Big run, man. From the freshman, the red shirt freshman, Eric Bailey. He's a little more explosive than uh, Andrews. Not quite as good overall, but I'm still going to let him get some carries this year. And as you can see, bro, making the most of that one. Let's go. All right, one thing about the UAB team, man, it looks like our conditioning is a little bit better, but 
we still got a long way to go. We don't have the coaching upgrades to help all of that stuff. So UMass is actually driving on us. The quarter just ended, so we got some much needed rest, uh, which is good, but you know. Got Johnson, that was my safety last year. I hear start. He's still a safety, but he's starting at the outside linebacker spot at the uh, at the drop safety spot, basically. Oh, Mary gets destroyed by Cody O'Neill, UMass receiver. He runs a triple move. Wow, that was very impressive, man. That was good protection. Number one, great protection because he had all fucking day. Ah, come on. All right, triple option. A definite handoff situation. They was waiting on <laughs> They was waiting on us to try to come to the right. Woo! Woo! Let's go! I really like these young receivers that we got, man. I really, really like them. Oh, actually, Bentley was the Juco sophomore, and Jason Stokes is a true freshman. These dudes are absolute beasts. They're probably not gonna have their best seasons this year, but once, like after next year, once, um, damn, once Adam Sanders comes back, then you'll really see them blossom. But right now, we're gonna have more of a running attack just to suit our quarterback. Hey, let's go, baby. We got a two-headed monster, a running back. I mean, we, I really like the team this year. Let's go. Wheeler. Woo! <laughs> they shut it down, man. Okay, so UMass stops us again. All right, first down and 10. There we go. I don't usually get caught. And ultimately, man, Adam Sanders, I got, I'm sorry, Anthony Hancock, I really, he's gonna have to be able to pass the damn ball a little bit. Let's go. And for those of y'all who are not familiar, all we have in this playbook is shotgun and goal line. <laughs> and I didn't change it just cause, I don't know, it's fun. It's just fun to have to adjust to this and play with this playbook. That's why I didn't change it. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Thought he was just gonna keep going with the pitch, man. All right, man, we're gonna have to figure out how to get in the goddamn end zone. There we go. All right, let's go. Time out. Goal line formation, like we said we would. And we get into the end zone. Let's get it. There we go. Come on, Ant. That's the end, I know. Let's get it, boy. Oh, oh stay up. Ah. <laughs> Running a variety of triple options. And this is where my dog, Anthony Hancock, shines. This is where he shines. Let's go. God damn, JJ White. Oh, let's go. Oh, <laughs> let's go, man. Look like Ant starting to get a little more comfortable in the offense, sits in the pocket, makes a nice throw. Oh, <laughs> Patrick coming out of nowhere. My dog, he was hurt all last year. <laughs> We switched him from the second corner to the nickel spot. He still got a nose for the football, man. <laughs> That's how you make somebody out of nothing, though. <laughs> nice run, Sheldon Andrews. Oh, 
Oh, let's go, Ant. Get in there. Ah, so close. All right, first down. And that off. And that off. Eric Bailey getting in the end zone. Let's get it. All right, 47 to 7. My starters are out of the game. So we're going to go ahead and send them to the end, man. And I kind of felt like that game was, like, that's how it was supposed to go. Tune up game, come out, get used to playing with the guys. See kind of how Anthony Hancock is going to fit on this team. He doesn't have as much talent around him like he had when he was at UTEP. So, you know, that does make a difference. We don't need to see the, <laughs> we don't need to see the scoring summary. Let's just take a look at the player stats, man. All right, here we go. Speaking of which, Ken Brown got in afterwards, threw two passes, didn't complete any of them, okay? Anyway, Anthony Hancock, 16 of 27 passing, 150 yards, so not a lot of passing yards. Now again, had we actually played the fourth quarter, he would have crossed over 200 at least, I'm assuming. One touchdown, one interception. Rushing, and this, this is what we're gonna kill him at, all right? Eric Bailey, man, the, the red shirt freshman, who I was like, all right, we'll let him get a few spins. Ended up getting 15 carries. How did he get to that point? Because he was averaging 12 yards per carry. You know, he's much more explosive than the more controlled Sheldon Andrews, who's still going to be the starter. Still going to play a huge role on his team. But seeing something like this, explosion, 178 yards for three touchdowns. I don't think we ever had the, the running back position on this UAB team, so that's a big deal, man. Sheldon Andrews still averaging seven to carry, still got a touchdown, did it with only seven attempts. Hancock, of course, he's also gonna pass it, he's also gonna run it. Seven attempts, 84 yards, 12 per, and he also had a touchdown. Now, I wanna point this out. This is explosion that we haven't seen here at UAB since the Quindre Adams, all right? And he was playing out of position, running a read option. Like, that's how he was having his explosive plays. But these guys are playing in position. Eric Bailey, two rushes for more than 20 yards, four broken tackles too, and then Anthony Hancock had one rush for over 20. So three rushes for over 20 yards, man. That's a big deal for us, all right? Stokes got him five catches. Dustin Wheeler got him five catches. Sheldon Andrews, damn, my guy on the other side didn't get any catches. And it's, it's tough, because it's kind of like playing with like a Tim Tebow type of quarterback, like y'all gonna win games, but the wide receivers, don't usually see their full potential until that guy is gone. All right, Jonathan Brown, the freshman free safety, led the team in tackles. Lamar Patrick was second. Patrick is, he's very, very good. <laughs> very, very good, man. Uh, let's let's see what everybody did. Joseph Rollins had the, the lone sack. Interceptions, my boy J. Coles had one. <laughs> Jonathan Brown had one. Nick Smith and Lamar Patrick all had interceptions. Merrick did get one deflection, but they really didn't throw at him too much. So he didn't get a whole bunch going in his very first game. He still did pretty good at kick return. Average 31 yards of kick return. So anyway, this is the first time we've had the three by three by three. I don't even know what the fuck I'm gonna call it, but Madden, UTEP, and UAB all lined up by week. So we have week one in all three series, and it was a sweep. For our very first one, we won all of our games. We won the Madden game, the UTEP game, and we just won the UAB game. So that's what's up. Click the thumbs up button for that. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Tomorrow you should be getting uh, Madden. You should be getting Madden Week Two. I forgot who we we're playing, but it should be a good one. So anyway, man, my name is Flimlo Raps. So I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Wow.